So here we are at this simple little farm. It is a manual farm, so you will be running backwards and forwards across this platform. You can make it a bit safer if you wish. But oh, look at that, right on cue. Um, as you can see, the, the gas spawn and get trapped in there. They will not be able to see you um, at all, so you're safe. And we've got a few demonstrations of what's going on here also. Uh, so the gas just spawn, and he'll just hang out there. And the zombie pigmen are going towards the egg that's nicely placed, placed in the middle there. And they fall down the bottom, uh, getting killed for their gold. Because as you're waiting here for the uh, gas to spawn, you may as well be collecting a little bit of gold. So coming across the platform, if you've got a good sword, looting three is the one to have. Give these guys a whack. And they will drop their loot down there. Now this is magma cubes. If you are not wearing any armor, they're going to rip apart uh, your health. So I've put these ladders around for quick access back on top. So jump on down, grab your ghast tears and a bit of gunpowder and jump on up. So hopefully you don't get too knocked around by the magma cubes. Now, the other thing I've put into this is some iron golems around the edge. This is to help uh, get the uh, magma cues out of the mob cap so the gas will spawn for you so that the magma cues will be a see these guys, be attracted. They come on over and get a good whack in the face by these guys. So you can come on over here and grab that experience and magma cubes maybe as well. So that is the gist of the farm. It is very simple as you can see. You can make it as big as you want, um, but really I would suggest smaller ones and more of them. So this is the central one here. There would be nothing stopping you putting another one of these in this direction and on all four sides. So you can just stand here waiting for gas to spawn in any of the chambers. But this is a good size that I've come up with. And if you are still here, what I might do is grab grab all of this and put it in the overworld so you can see it properly. And we'll do a little build tutorial. So if you're hanging around, I'll see you soon. Okay, here we are in the overworld now, nicely lit up and much more visible. So hopefully you guys can get a bit more a sense of what to do to build this. So I've decided not to do a block by block tutorial. So I might just put out some measurements for you because you really can make this your own and just take the idea and run with it. Because all it is is just magma blocks in the air and um, half slabs on top, four blocks above them to catch the gas. So that's that's the basis of it. Uh, but I'll, what I'll do, I'll run you through the current setup I have. So when you are pillaring up, uh, now just be sure to mob proof all of this stuff because you don't want ghasts spawning. So glass is going to be good, or if you use cobblestone, use half slabs, or if you use a full block, you need to mob proof it maybe with a button. So I've got glass coming out of this block here. This block is at 223 it's coming out directly from the scaffolding there and this platform is 19 long and this is where you'll put all your hoppers and you'll just have to find out where they drop and put them into your sorting system if you want the gold if not just let them drop and you don't need this platform at all next platform up is the platform you'll probably build your magma cube block uh, platform from and that is coming out at 249 now i'm going to suggest you make this one the full 24 blocks long because 24 blocks will take you up to the edge of the there we go 23 and 24 blocks is the size of the top one and this one is currently at 254 so this one should be 24 blocks yes it is and that's where your magma cubes will start now the 
the amount of magma cubes you are going to need or the dimensions that I have done. 35. 35 by 10 is the amount of magma cubes platform that I did. And on top of that is uh, upside down or lower block half slabs. And you just want to leave a gap in, in the middle uh, so you can do strips if you want. I've gone with uh, three gap, two and three just to fill it all in. Now the bottom part, we'll just hover it over it here. So out of your middle block there, we've got a gap for three eggs to go. And trap doors on either side. So right here we've got one block. That's a two block gap. And the eggs on top of that one, trap doors so that they fall down onto your hoppers. The ladders are just gaps in the walls, spawn proofing on the bottom, and ladders going up, and spawn proofing on the top of them. So that is just in case uh, you do this in the Soul Sand Valley or something like that. Skeletons are going to spawn outside here, so you want to stop that. Now the Iron Golems. They're just on little platforms that look like this, coming straight out from the magma cube, magma box. Uh, there's spawn proofing all around them, and nothing's going to spawn on this block because they're standing in it. But you have to remove these two buttons here for to put him in. Now I've put, not quite sure, but it did help. These fences are one block in. So it just gives a better viewing angle. Not so much for these guys, but at least for that middle guy. So that is the Iron Golem set up. And I guess the last thing is it's four blocks between the top of the magma cubes and the bottom of the half slabs. Nice and simple. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial guys, sorry I didn't do a block by block, but it's a very simple one and hopefully that explanation will get you through. If not, feel free to comment below and I will help you out for sure. So if you did like it, please hit that like button, it helps out YouTube know what's good and bad. And if you'd want to see more content like this, please subscribe. Alright guys, we'll see you in the next video. Bye!